Hi right, guys, now we've had some friendlies, it's time to get serious. As in OTSL playoffs, down 0 on after the first game against the seeded opponent, so he needs just one draw out of two games, serious. Let's see if the cards allow me the courtesy. Okay, not bad. Which of course explains why it being my opponent being seeded, uh, I'm playing Soviets on game two. Okay, I really don't wish you that much fun though. Okay, what do we do here? Ay, 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 ay. I would prefer to hold five year plan actually. Okay, that one is obvious enough. So, okay, much depends on the state of the Middle East. If I manage to get something going there... I really don't like that. That smells like a Marshall setup. Okay, let's get Fidel since that's relatively safe against the factors, and this is the Marshall setup. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. So the choice what to intervene is straightforward now. It will be NATO. And it will not be an easy game. Mm -hmm. Full value Europe and a poor roll. I think I might have to play the China card on turn one on already. Uh, another reason why I'm annoyed by having to headline Fidel. Interesting. Standard reply would be something like to Egypt one Malaysia to I guess he could delay Egypt since I have no presence in Iran in the Middle East. In fact Okay, well, he went to Jordan, which makes my choice clear. I'm not, I'm not letting him into Iraq, obviously. One into South Korea makes sense, too. As in, I'm not letting him into Iraq without paying extra for it. Mm 
Ay, 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 unfortunate. Okay, could score Middle East right now. Wouldn't be terrible. But I think I like the ops more here. <coughs> Coup Panama and see what happens. Okay, a better roll. One that he might be inclined to reply to. Don't like his ops. Yeah, that's a proper rich man's move. So options here could play Dickel immediately, or could I could play China into Iran. But that would leave me poorly equipped to reply to whatever he would be doing. I think I'll go with Tickle first. Okay, I have to forfeit attacking France, I think. The extra advantage of this move is that it gives me maximum flexibility uh, regarding my last move. I could choose to play five-year plan first and not the China card. Whereas had I played China, well, I have to play Decal next or score Middle East. Mm, I assume he would t overprotect Thailand, exactly.
and I kind of have to hope for a roll, a low roll. So maybe let's not hope. Let's ensure maximum chances here. <coughs> With some extra in the ear. Okay, he had some crap left. Solid rolls though. Okay, let's hope you won't get into Pakistani war. No reason to hold on to Fafi plan now that Europe is gone. Ah, why the delay? I seem to exp mm, be experiencing some network issues. Okay, so I'm guaranteed not to lose to CIA on turn 2, since 5 plan is not available. But I'm not a fan of my position in Asia. And I'm not getting a shot at Italy, not getting a shot at Thailand. Did get Iran at least. So that's something, but yeah. This could easily end in a CIA DEFCON suicide on turn 3. I'm banking heavily on Asia here. Oh, yeah, I should have put one into North Korea. Okay, at least he doesn't challenge me in a battleground. And I'm the man with the purge and no CIA, which is awesome. Okay, now. Huh. Factors are around. If he goes in the Pakistani war in the headline, that's bad. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, is there anything I can do about it? Could headline Asia. I think it's the safest play. I mean, if he goes into the Pakistani war, I'm dominated in Asia anyway. And I don't see how I would get a domination there. Okay, good enough. Hmm. Right, no reason to give up independent reds since I'll be using this influence for this style. So I'm afraid I have to give up special. I was hoping to use 2s with combo here, but alas. Crappy rolls again. Naturally, I will be using purge blockade combo.
That's a rich man's move. Okay. Let's hurt him a little bit, unless he got containment. In which case, well, <clears throat> not much hurt will happen. The Nazis, hopefully for the full bonus, then these still Hold card. Hmm. Hard to say. I guess it has to be independent reds. Okay. Hey! That, my friends, was a good roll. Okay, this stall first, since to bl blockade he could react. And one in here, just to get in the region. And since this I will not do anything about Europe. <coughs> Might as well just leave it to Suez. Still no sighting of CIA. Hmm. Richman, I guess. Huh. Should I play this the blockade as my last AR? I guess so, since I want to expand to India anyway. Take Iraq. Room and not around. <coughs> I think I can't fight an ops war in West Germany. Okay, what else is there? Arab Israeli war, of course. Mm, of four ops, none. So he will be losing. West Germany. The goal Truman already mentioned. Say of course Nasser in the Pakistani war. Right, so West Germany goes down, but he puts some more socialists. Same. Hey, that's dumb. I guess he'll stop it though. And I did not get the CIA, which is good, which is awesome. Did get decals, so triple D cards in the early war. Also awesome. He got the Indo Pakistani war. Which is less awesome. Socialists are nice. I think I'll go with Deco. Just start challenging Asia immediately. He could open up with into Pakistani war, of course, but he should be somewhat blocked from getting a domination. I mean, I could headline Asia immediately, of course. I'll prefer not to. Ay ay ay! Well, too bad. Okay. Uh, 
a decent throw at least. Okay, losing the call here was not as tragic. as it would have been earlier. And I won't wait for the in the Pakistani war, of course. Okay. Let's make it a little bit difficult or not. No, wait. Okay, I'm not holding back in the cover. You don't do that without the China card. So I guess if he has Europe, alas. <clears throat> At least I scored Asia before he potentially flips Pakistan. Nasser sounds like a good hold card here. I could get turn 3 Sadat after all. Ah, okay, lots of ups, I know. Not giving you Zaire. Sosha should be a nice AR6. Granted, he has Truman, so I cannot start an Ops War in Europe. Still the delay. Good thing I'm not playing a Blitz game against him now. And I won't. It's delaying, it's killing it. Could we adjust the Wi Fi signal? Whoa! Very good, I'm not playing the Blitz game. Okay, let's restart the app. Okay, at least this was the fight he will miss in Pakistan. So say we all. Okay, so my position is decent enough before the mid-war. No China, but also well, Asia is scored, so biggest issue with China VP-wise is gone. Good position in South America, decent in the Middle East. Crap in Europe, but oh well. At least Truman is gone for now, so I can start an Ops War in Europe. Although it would be reasonable for my opponent to hold uh, at least a tree up here. Yeah, right, containment on our card I missed. Wouldn't have changed my play anyway. Ah. Maybe should have held socialists. Okay. No real choice here. Has to be liberation theology. Of 
followed by coup in Africa. If successful, I'll build it into a domination. If not, well. I'll just dump it for minus one. I feel the three op to Ku Angola, but well, not using my only four op. So for Mozan, it is still not the hand I would have chosen for myself here. Since I will be going to Uruguay anyway, might as well set up the domination. Okay, got that roll at least. Another opportunity for me to have a tree up here. Since I expect he does have some counter like Panama or OS. Mm -hmm. And now I have to go big or go home. Okay, another option. Okay, if he has Panama, then I guess Panama Canal return, that is. Then I guess one in Panama would make sense. And I'll have to give up Tehran annoyingly. Hmm. Or it could be that. Perfect moment to roll a one. Luckily not. Okay, voice and junta. Not amused. If he kills Haiti again, I think I'll just have to dump Africa. As you know, score domination. <sighs> yeah, I wish I had a higher card. Then I could have just jammed Brazil. <clears throat> Alas, only one has been spent. Okay, peaceful influence, good. 
least allows me to do this. Hmm, Mr. Koo strikes again. Do I give up puppets? Is the question, I guess. I could. They are of not much gain here, although, hmm, access to Chile is relevant. Ay, Tehran it is. Okay, so far so bad. He takes half of South America and I give up Europe. Okay, I scored Africa, so that's something. But just not enough. Quagmire lost. Not good. One big game changer. Structure revolution is of less importance. Okay, might as well give up Europe. Since it's not getting better. <laughs> he do with that? I still have five here, so that's not tragic. This is scored, so as annoying it is. Not tragic. I guess I have to play Nasser to <coughs> build some position in Southeast Asia then. Could be just a gunman situation. Gamma. Okay, Missile Envy is around, meaning Muslim Revolution is the play. Southeast Asia, so we'll see how much the voice hurts me. Oh, 
I will have to give up Usuri to Missile Envy, which is still annoying. Of course, I do expect the voice headline here. Ah! <laughs> Alas, no. Damn it. Okay, I really need brushwork here. We really need to work. So I guess it's oh, sorry it will have to be. After all I can still coo all these one stabs. Though okay, let's not lose Angola in Zaire in one row. Brush war will, I guess, target Thailand if it's at a 50% chance, of course. Though, if I get a better chance, I might go for South America. Okay, that's annoying, but not something I need to be immediately worried about. I can just fix the damage. Remembering about voice tokens, he can still erase me here, but well, okay. I'm spread very thin, he can erase me from quite a few regions. Mm. Okay. Nuisance, but not a huge one, luckily. Okay. Okay, not okay. I'll need the ops from Che, or maybe even the event. In any case, I don't dare use it here. For the one stop coup. <clears throat> I hope he forgets about Libya with voice. Okay, one of these two will have to play be played for ops. Probably brush, since its effect is less guaranteed. I do have protection in Africa now, which is awesome. So I guess he'll attack what? <laughs> so many ops! Okay. It's all four here. Probably can't counter that. Okay, if he has South America scoring, he'll probably get it. It being the domination. <coughs> Although he might choose to go for Libya with voice. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Formosa gone, South Korea gone. Probably the same will happen to India. At least the scoring at hand didn't hurt. And since he focuses on Asia, good chance he doesn't have South America scoring. Libya was to be expected, uh, Pakistan, oh well. Has to be retaken, since that's just too much. I guess I have to go to Saudi Arabia. And yes, it is extremely annoying having to play both Che and Brush for Ops. Having Ops so crappy. Okay, at least he didn't take Libya. Time to get a coup going. Mm -hmm. And I have to give up the puppets, don't I? It will cost me one in Libya. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Plus some other also annoying ones. If only had taken it with grain sales. <laughs> Another mighty hand by him, by the way. Grain sales, purge, missile envy, envoys of America. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, let's hope I get a roll here. I did. No domination in central. But at least Cuba is safe. Come on, guys. I need a lucky hand, really. Lost South Korea. Probably India soon. Venezuela and Brazil. Need a lucky break here. Regions to be scored, Americas. <clears throat> Granted, I'm pretty solid in South America with Brush gone and Junta gone. Well, still OAS. Of course. Hmm, probably would have broken Panama with it. Okay. So, Missile Envy was played, so I don't have to worry about that. I have lots of crap. So I do have to worry about that. OS in control. That's useful. One small step also, very useful. I'm not that worried about going to space now. 
And since he didn't break anything, I'll go Cambridge. There are even odds. Oh, actually, better than even like 3 to 1 that he has at least one scoring. Nixon, annoying. Hmm, and he doesn't have scoring. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I'll give up Colonial for two this turn. So what do I try to coup here? Sorry, not Colonials, Alliance, of course. I, he did overprotect these. Arabia is an option. OPEC is around after all. Or I could go for broke South America. But I would prefer to do it when I know that he has something I want. Ah, had I only known! <laughs> Still, good roll, can't complain too much about that. I'll use 5 year plan probably to manage OAS. Mm -hmm. That's very reasonable. Piper. That one at least he has to reply to with the ops. So I can freely space. He has so many ops though. So annoying. Okay, no use for one small step then. Do I want to secure Cuba that badly? Hmm. Yes, Japan is here. Flower power is active, Muslim, everything is here.
Okay, let's hope my counter coup will be enough to secure Q bomb. And prepare position in Asia. As well as Middle East. I do need to take something back here. Panama will need one anyway. Truman is in the discards. Interesting. So out of these 10 cards, two scorings. Bear trap. Or is it in my opponent's hand, of course? ABM. Interesting he didn't event Camp David with Flair Power Active. That I can simply coup. And troll a one, which is crap, but I guess it's enough for now. Bear trap? Or not? So far a very tense game. Ah, also that. He also rolled a one, but he ends up controlling it. Ooh la la! ABM and Hunta. And Che. Juicy. Okay, what did I also say that he has? Hmm. Mr. Kennedy, of course. So, no point in getting a huge domination in South America. We've seen the factors on turn 3 already. <clears throat> okay, it has to be Junta. Alright, bear trap. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, will I hold and care saps here? Probably not. So, okay, at least I'm out. And that way he cannot freely realign me out of Cuba. Arms race, should have remembered that one. Okay, Cuba protection action. <clears throat> right, he knows about the ABM. 
I come on, come on, really? That was just annoying. Okay, gotta try for space here. Also missed. Okay, now it's just bad. That's just bad. Hmm, I'll give it a try. Control is worth too much. Not enough. He did very well with that overprotection. But come on, it was a redraw, right? Out of the very few cards he redrew, were both of his best scorings. Okay, at least Middle East means I get to survive for a while. No reason to rush into Pakistani war now. didn't coup yet. Let's at least make him maybe sweat about it. Or oh, he'll just coup Saharan states. Okay, at least I have to make some mess here. Okay, that was very annoying. Very much so. Hmm. Yeah, remember what I said about annoying? That would kind of define it. Space duck and hope it neuters Star Wars. Good thing I hold for war games. And definitely I'm playing the gunman here. I need to know what he has. Particularly since I have Mr. Envy, which I can then use to steal if it's worthwhile. Okay, that tilted me a little bit. Okay, good. I'll have the peak after Kennedy. Better than the other way around. <coughs> At least he won't be ditching any awesome scorings. So shall Muslim Sadat. Interesting. Aims and five year plan. Missile Envy would hit. Nuclear test ban. Okay, what else does this do? This card? Nasser. Okay, Nasser answer that. Right. Chernobyl and Teardown. So I am a little worried about Europe here. So I guess I need to protect it a bit. Should 
means a quick coup. Okay, how many ops does he have here? I have Pershing, so that's some small counter. <coughs> Could easily lose to Defcon. Right, he has terrorism. But there is some chance I'll survive. So I mean, could go for a nuclear test ban. Okay, definitely I need to delay spacing until I know more about his plans for the turn. Or I could play duck and cover, but yeah, my position is pretty bad. But terrorism is pretty much guaranteed. Hmm. And I definitely need to protect Poland heavily, or he just takes it with this many ops, yes, easily. Monster ops again. And ter teardown just kills me then. Okay, how much do I need in Poland? Pretty, pretty likely I'm dead lost here. But okay, how much do I need in Poland? Plus one is not enough. Let's say plus two. How will that do? He'll need Chernobyl and nuclear test ban just to get it to control. NATO breaks it. Five year plan takes it. Turn down. But I have Mr. Envy, which will get him a little worried. Okay, let's say plus two. So let's lower Defcon. Hmm. <laughs> let's dangle this over his head. Now he's tempted to just take it. My move is not suspicious. I mean, he knows I know his hand. Okay, time is pretty even and good enough. And see that since he knows that, he knows I needed to protect Poland. Now he'll do some calculations about it. I'll keep poking him for a moment. <coughs> I'm hoping to increase my chances of, well, either Chernobyl failing. Or terrorism hitting a bad card. Very tense game in which I could really use some better luck. Okay, I did have some lucky breaks. I mean, getting Huntar turn 7 was pretty sweet. Ooh la la, he's going for it. But he has two four ops. I will counter one of them. Hmm. 
meaning once he plays his first 4-up I'm eventing Missile Envy Would be now. That would be NATO, I presume. Still, it's pretty bad. But I had to take some risks here. All will depend on the teardown rolls, I think. No, no, no. Let's leave that as my last play, maybe. that okay at least defcon is out of the picture and I maybe I should have but no he still has No, no. Oh shit, yeah, I lose. Pretty sure I lose here. Nah. Uh, <coughs> playing Pershing first wasn't enough, of course. Since he did have one AR to fix it. Hmm. Okay. Let's try. That Truman is still around, isn't it? What? 
is around so as it's not the goal is also I think gone yeah socialists are gone so it's basically down to reformer brush okay I'll hold Pershing just in case Please focus on Milops. And not on East Germany. Where's Germany? Uh, I did leave with Germany open, but. Damn it, that's just not enough. He has China, so I needed a four up here. That's just not enough. Even increasing DEFCON to 5 and cooing Italy will fail. Takes a 6 with a 4 up. I refuse to realign Poland at minus 1. Well, let's at least make him worry a little bit here. My final salvo. He doesn't need to worry about anything. Just needs to put off that in Europe. That's enough for a win. Uh, these realignment rolls, too good. I was banking on him, well, not going for the discards, but going for Europe instead, but failing the real lines. Alas. Mm. <laughs> Even has brush for protection. Clever. Clever. Now that literally doesn't matter what happens here. I guess I have to do something. I play, I will play. How I learned as my last play, set so Defcon to 5. I'll do, I don't expect that to work. Yeah, that's all he needs to do. Extremely annoying, and there literally not enough scorings here to get me through the finish line mm. 
even if I get 10 or 11 for Africa. Ah. It's transit Gloria Mundi, I guess. Alright. Alright. Not active. <laughs> of course it's not. Just going through the motions now. Come on. What's with the delay? Got me really worried about blitz. Not that my rolls are much of an improvement. Mm -hmm. Right you are, sir. So there's reformer somewhere unless he'll just space it now. It would have been very annoying. Hmm. And brush war. One in six. I mean, what could go, go wrong, right? Okay, let's dangle Africa in front of him. Okay, Defcon to 5 means goes to 4 after his Q, but goes to 5 at the beginning of the new turn, and Truman is out. Good. Hopefully he doesn't realize what I'm going for here. It is a coup of Italy. But if he just puts... Okay, one might not, might not be enough. There's still reformer after all. Everything is protected from a reformer alone. However, it's not re protected from a reformer plus Q. Finally, Amos. Ah. It is protected from a Q alone. Hey! Brush war! Ah, one and six, right? Can I remove some of these? No. 
Can I get to 20? Even what will bury you? Let's say 10. 14. Seventeen, nineteen, maybe, yeah, probably not. Mm, okay, let's not risk a brush on the factors. It's somewhat relevant after all. Factors are very likely if he expects, for example, a former. Okay, we'll bury you. Okay, okay, so you're sh sure, I know. Almost a six. <laughs> okay, now I lose. Let's get this over with. <laughs> what are even going to give me that sliver of a chance in Africa? Okay, well played by my opponent, although I feel I should have some more luck here, somewhere. I had way too many unlucky turns. Some lucky breaks went my way too. But the key ones didn't. Uh, but what a comeback it would have been had I rolled a 6 in Italy. Oh, come on, that's just rude. <laughs> oh, come on, there's literally nothing I can do here. Ok, 
Okay, okay, it's safe. Let's see if I can at least realign South Africa. <laughs> Just checking, just checking. One. Do I get to 13? Yay! Now that's the 6 I needed. <sighs> right, perhaps I... Huh. Perhaps I should have held war games though. I really felt like I needed a 4. And of course, had he started to discard cards, that's another problem. Hey. Let's fight! <sighs> Don't let anyone say I gave up on Europe without a fight. Hmm, yeah, that's relevant. Hey, leave Poland alone. Well, so much for OTSL. Yet again eliminated in the first round. So, next season, maybe. Cheer for me, guys. Feels like I need it. Bye.